it'll be interesting to see how they're going to try to defend this. Is he going to bunt? Is he going to swing? Hard throwers are hard to bunt on. And now again, and he's in the hole on two. That's in the center field, the base hit. Here comes the runner, Gordon. Throw home, cut off, tie game. It's almost like a broken record, though, Joe. They don't strike out. They continue to just put pressure on you by putting the ball in play. Can't flag it down. Escobar with a back hand to get him. And Lagar has cut down. The defense has shined for the Royals in October. Escobar is doing it all. Made a big play last night. Backs up Cueto here. Bottom of the eighth inning rolls in. One night after his historic leadoff inside the park homer, Alcides Escobar once again put his speed on full display in the eighth inning of game two. Can't flag it down. Escobar with a bad hand to get it. And Lagar has cut down the defense has shined for the Royals in October. It started on defense when Escobar made the final out of the top of the eighth by charging a Juan Lagares grounder that was deflected and slowed down by pitcher Johnny Cueto. Escobar benefited from taking his first step just .22 seconds after the ball left Lagares' bat, then reaching 17.4 miles per hour as he charged the ball. He ultimately made the play just in time to retire Lagares, who reached a max speed of 19.7 miles per hour down the line. Here's one into center. Back is Lagares over his head. Gordon scores. Fly into third is Escobar. They just keep coming. Escobar wasn't done yet, however, as he then legged out an RBI triple in the bottom half of that same inning. He upped his max speed to 20 miles per hour on that play while racing from home to third in only 11.79 seconds. For reference, Escobar also reached a max speed of 20 miles per hour on his inside the park homer from game one while needing just over 15 seconds to go all the way around the bases.